Welcome to I Said Sit School for Dogs video about Ghost. And what we're going to do is show how to get Ghost to stop eating rocks. So here's a little sample of what's happening with Ghost before any training, where he's scanning the ground and he really wants to pick up stuff off the ground. And uh, there he goes trying to grab a little piece of crud. And just to give you an idea what it's like to walk with Ghost, is he couldn't care less about us and what he could go, oh, wait, 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 Ghost, Ghost, no! All right, and one last shot to give me an idea how much he really wants to get something when he wants to get it. Let's start some training with Ghost. I think he needs it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach Ghost some targeting. And by targeting, we mean just for Ghost to touch our hand when we hold it out. And we teach him to do that with the command touch. Touch. He's had quite a few lessons before this. This is just an example of what's done after he's had a little bit of practice. And Ernie's doing a great job practicing, having him pay attention to him and go to wherever Ernie presents his hand. And we're also going to teach Ghost to watch us. And we want to be able to tell him when he sees a rock to watch me instead of the rock. Watch me. Yes. There he's watching us instead of the hand pulled out. Paying attention to us is what gives Ghost a reward. And you can see he wants to watch. Watch me. Nice. Good job, Ghost. Watch me. Nice. Good job, Ernie, too. Watch me. Yes, good boy. And you can see that Ghost really has an idea to pay attention on a voice command. Watch me. Yes. Okay, so we want to get as close as we can to real life, so we're going to practice in an area where there aren't a lot of distractions. But walking on the grass, that's something that Ghost would really want to look at what he can find. Touch. So we're going back and forth in an area that Ghost is familiar with, using the touch, using the targeting. Now we're going to move to a more difficult situation. And again, this is the hallway in our training center so that we can control the distractions. And we put a lot of food down on the ground, really make him want to grab it. But as you can see, what Ernie's doing is rewarding him for paying attention to Ernie, not paying attention to the food. Watch me. Uh, let's go. So even with hot dogs and cheese on the ground, Ghost is right willing to walk past and uh, look at Ernie, pay attention to Ernie, do a great job of walking. Watch me. Good. Okay, so outside, it's going to get a little harder, real life happening here. This is where he was before. Now we've actually placed some rocks down for Ghost to want to pay attention to and eat. You know, he actually went to the vet a couple times for eating rocks. Notice that he looked at the rock, paid attention to Ernie. And just for reference, this training process was about four days. We have fun and so did Ghost. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of I Said Sit School for Dogs.